This week on The Wire, confidence in market returns, undersupply to push prices, and new first home buyers scheme. G'day guys, my name is Tim Guest and I'm Australia's leading financial educator and the founder of Infinite Wealth. And welcome to The Wire, the week in real estate where you can get all the top stories happening this week in finance, real estate, investment, and more. Now please like, comment, and share this video. And if it's your first time tuning in, welcome along and don't forget to follow or subscribe wherever you are seeing this. Now our top story for this week, confidence in market returns. So Australia's housing market has regained the confidence of property experts and market watchers. And this is according to a recent poll by the National Australia Bank. So the NAB Residential Property Index has moved into positive territory for the first time since mid-2018 as capital city housing markets rebound. So the index, which is a measure of housing market sentiment based on the expectations of property professionals for both capital growth and rents, rose 26 points in the December quarter to an above average rating of plus 18. Now, the result, the result suggests the Australian housing market is on the way to recovery. That comes from NAB Chief Economist Alan Oster. So the survey also shows positive expectations for house prices over the next 12 months, with prices expected to strengthen into 2021. This marks a sharp reversal from the previous survey where Victoria and New South Wales were expected to be the weakest states for price growth and the only states where prices were tipped to fall, Oster said. So next up, under supply to push prices. So a looming shortage of residential dwellings driven by the twin forces of a downturn in construction and population growth will lead to price gains in 2020, say industry experts. An undersupply of housing could put downward pressure on vacancy rates and further upward pressure on rents and dwelling prices. Estimates by the Commonwealth Bank suggest an undersupply of apartments from 2020, says CBA economist Christina Clifton. Our, 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 sorry, on our calculations, the decline in residential construction is taking place at a time when the SX, excess supply of dwellings is relatively small, Clifton said. She attributes the housing market turnaround to the coalition election win, rate cuts by the Reserve Bank, and APRA's changes to serviceability metrics. Though there are some reports that some developers and prospective unit buyers are still having difficulty obtaining finance. Mervac Chief Executive Susan Lloyd Herwitz says access to credit is critical to prevent a housing shortage within a year, while Stockland CEO Mark Steinert said we need 180,000 dwellings a year to keep up with demand, and it's just not gonna happen. So the downturn of the past few years is really starting to bite now. And now for our final story of the week, new first home buyer scheme. So first home buyers will soon be able to purchase a home with a deposit of 5% instead of the usual 20% required by most banks. The balance of 15% would be guaranteed by the government but would still have to be repaid by the borrower. The scheme to be implemented in January 2020 aims to help low income earners buy a property but only 10,000 applicants will be accepted. To be eligible, applicants must have earned less than $125,000 in the previous financial year as a single or $200,000 as a couple. Other limitations by the way of pricing thresholds also apply depending on the state and regional centres. For example, first home buyers in Sydney are limited to a purchase price of $700,000, Melbourne $600,000, Brisbane $475,000, Perth $400,000, the ACT $500,000, Northern Territory $375,000, and Regional New South Wales $475,000, and Regional Victoria $375,000. The same price thresholds for capital cities will also apply to large regional centres with populations over 250,000. So that includes things like the Gold Coast, Newcastle, Lake Macquarie, the Sunshine Coast, Illawarra, and Geelong. So some great news for first home buyers, and guys, that's pretty much it from me today. Now remember to like, comment, and share this video, and don't forget to subscribe or follow wherever you're seeing this. Also, stay tuned early next week for our Just Ask Tim video series, and if you wanna submit a question, or there's a topic that you'd like me to discuss in more detail, there's a link in the post for you to do that. Apart from that, guys, have a great week, and remember, there's only one thing in life that makes a difference, action.